All right, let's head into this dungeon. Yeah, this is definitely the first dungeon. <laughs> it's awesome. I loved, this is like the, obviously the most, uh, the dungeon that I'm most uh, freak or you know knowledgeable about because it's the first dungeon. You kind of have to know this one by heart. By any anyone that's a fan of this game has to know this dungeon by heart, basically. Um, but yeah, on these two sides, all there are, are these broken bridges. So it's like, all right, well, the first puzzle. What do we do? And then you pick up the pot, find the switch, it'll open the door. Let's get in here. Suddenly, both of the doors are locked, and you're like, all right, we gotta kill all the enemies, and then they'll be opened. And then it's like, nope. And then you're like, oh, what do I do? Well, this thing looks interesting. And then you hit it, and it opens up the doors. Into this main room, this is crazy. Look at these things. It's like, what? Holy crap, what is going on? So you gotta, gotta time your, uh, oh, that was bad timing. The, the big ones always get you when you're not expecting them. And let's run. Wait for the big one. Oh, yeah, I'm usually much better at that. <clears throat> but uh, basically, first of all, let's actually go over here. Up these stairs. Come across this first bridge. I just think that these dungeons were so much better than the ones in Legend of Zelda 1. I mean, just the fact that there's like, I'm above... Something is just crazy, like the NES couldn't have done this at all, you know? And get a little reward here for a bunch of rupees. We have 700 now, we've got tons of them. And uh, let's, let's basically continue up here, going up in the next room. Oh, we got some new enemies, looks like. And another one of these switches. This will open our do this door here. We can go in here. And we can actually fight these enemies now. These are actually, uh, of course, you know, the, uh, what are the names of these guys? Fuck. Um, yeah, oh, fuck. This, uh, God, I know what the names are, but, like, for some reason, I can't think of it right now. Um, the, yeah, I don't know. It's on the tip of my tongue, but. They're in the Ocarina of Time, and they're a lot bigger. I know that much. So these pots are actually really useful against these guys. Oh, well, if I miss, it's not. But well, actually, I hit the wrong one. But yeah, basically the pots kill them in one shot. Same with arrows, of course. Which is this... Uh, this dungeon is known for that. Arrows everywhere. And we can get our first little item here. Compass. I don't know, yeah, we don't have the map yet, I don't think, but, uh, we're building our own map. And what is this? Navy it is I. <laughs> I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Here's a hint, you can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Alright, we're coming down here, and there's, a. Uh, can't get in here. That's... Not, we're not gonna be able to go in there, so we gotta better come back out here to this main room again. Got some more of these uh, skeletos or what is her name? Skella something. Oh, there's a little statue. Oh crap, the statue came alive. So these statues are kind of hard to kill with your sword. That the uh, the tip you said use this dungeon's treasure. If you kind of have inferred, the treasure of this dungeon is the bow. <clears throat> so, bows will basically kill these guys in one shot, where your sword takes, you know, decades to kill these guys. Gotta get close to them, activate them, and then you gotta swipe them. <clears throat> A big old treasure chest, man. We gotta open this shit up. It's locked. You gotta have the big key to open that shit up. Alright. Some hearts over here. We'll head over in this room because the door up in the the north door, as you can see, is a uh, big key door. So can't go up there. So we gotta go over here. <clears throat> we can walk up these steps. And it's dark. Oh crap! They're coming after me. Oh, we opened that door. Better. Oh well, I passed up on a twenty rupee. Whatever. 
Gotta kill these guys. Oh. Pick up the pot, come on. And there it is, the key we needed. We didn't, you didn't know we needed it yet, but we did. Let's enter this room again. Oh, that's bad for us. That's not what I want. Let's keep going, open up this locked door, using that key. And now we're up in this room, the, uh, the first room again over here. But now we're on this bridge, so we can actually come over into this door. And, got a couple enemies here. Nothing big. And all of these bubbles, or whatever they're called, are actually protecting that pot, so... Now what we can do here, and up here there's a big key door. Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna get the big key in this room. <laughs> it's like, I wonder. Gotta kill this guy. <clears throat> Gotta kill all the enemies here, so get our pots. Yeah, pots are also effective against those guys too. Basically, pots are arrows. I guess, like the same damage wise, because I kill I kill these guys too in one hit. And as soon as you kill the last enemy, oh crap! All these bubbles come out of nowhere. Pick up this. Just hit the switch, and it reveals this chest that contains the big key. This dungeon's already almost over. This is a very short dungeon, but it's a very good dungeon, though, obviously. These bubbles will actually steal parts of your pieces of your magic. Oh crap, about to die. I better get out of there. And we couldn't pass it here before, but now we can. From that angle, that side. Come back in here with our big key. Try to get some hearts, first of all. Nothing, nothing. Well, I don't want to grab the uh, bow yet. We're actually going to head down here to the secret area. Both of the pots lead to the same area. And fairy. We have... Yeah, they're both full. So, eh, I could release the bee, but it's kind of pointless now. Let's warp back up here. And uh, let's go ahead and get our treasure. The bow. Basically a very good item. And, of course, swipe you to death real quick. Oh, this is, yeah. They kind of want you to use the air, the bow here, obviously, but I don't know. Those, the skeleton heads that float and come at you out of nowhere, they're stupid. I'm going to kill these guys in one hit now, though. As you can see. But now we have the big key, so we can actually go up here. To the next area of the dungeon. It's all dark. But, uh, just want to get my rupees, guys. Oh, a dungeon, or a, uh, a key there. A small key. That's what we needed. Could use some magic to uh, light this room up, but there's kind of no point. <clears throat> it's a very small room. There's a locked door over there that we needed that a key for, but over here is an unlocked room that can change treasure. So you gotta kind of be be a light foot here and uh, try to avoid the bubbles to get all these rupees. But now we almost have a thousand rupees. We're getting there. We're 827. Open up this door to go up to floor two. You ain't seen nothing yet. We're, we're just on the second floor, man. There's like 15 floors. Just kidding. Alright, so now we have three statues. We gotta take these guys down. Oh, of course. Get some arrows. And there's the switch. All the rest of them are kind of fake switches. Adds a little more depth. And we gotta. This room is bad, but I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one. Get out of there as fast as you can. No need to be in there. Here. Shoot him with an arrow. If I can even hit him, I don't want to waste my arrows. But Let's see if the pots even affect us. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they need the arrow, and the arrows do not go through pots. Oh, come! This is going poorly. 
two arrows takes out the red guys. And he'll let us move on now. Basically, as soon as you attack these worm things, they all start to disperse. So it's best to try to get a good hit on them in the beginning there. I think the other ones are just arrow pickups too, so might as well wait <clears throat> until we, uh, we have to use all my arrows here. We have plenty of arrows. And I think this is the boss. Yep. The six Armoses. Basically, once I start, once I start uh, jumping around like this, you gotta take them out with the bow. It's the best way to do it. Takes three hits to take down one of these guys. Don't let them trap you into a corner. But they'll line up against the wall and be easy targets, basically. I'm pretty sure the damage does accumulate, so you don't have to like hit them in a row or anything like that. Gotta kill one more, and the last one will turn into a red kind of guy. Makes the fight kind of easier, though, honestly, because you just kind of run away. He'll hit, come down. I, I don't even recommend you wasting your arrows here. Just let him come down to the ground, swipe him. Eh, if I can even do it. it makes the fight a little drag on a little longer, but yeah. And got our heart piece. Well, heart. A full heart, I should say. Now we have six full hearts, man. And we got our first pendant. So yeah, that's the first dungeon. It's kind of uh, easy, but it's, it's for a first dungeon. You know, it's it's almost like they wanted a, it's a tutorial almost dungeon, but it's like a little bit of an expanded tutorial. You know, it's not quite that bad, but it's not quite you know just all the way tutorial, but it's certainly comes off as a very short dungeon that is kind of tutorial esque. And yeah, pretty much now that we got our uh, first pendant here, we can head back over to the elder, see what he's got to say. Yo, we did it, man. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage? Now, I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took, war that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see, Navy. I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. And we got Pegasus boots. Basically, if you hold uh, if you hold A while you're you know while you're walking forward, if you hold A, then you uh, or well, you don't even need to be walking forward. You, as soon as you hold A, you instantly start running. <clears throat> Allows us to get around a little faster. And it kind of allows us to do a little more, a few more things. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to stop recording for just right the second after that dungeon. And, uh, let's go down here and heal up real quick because I'm already, uh, not even, I'm already, you know, two, two hearts down because these enemies in this overworld are just so stupid. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. But, uh, but yeah. Be right back. <laughs> 